Hey everybody, I'm just dropping in for a quick little video. I actually have a good example of something that might be useful for when you're editing photos. Um, this photo right here that I'm looking at is a picture of me and I'm looking very cute, minus the fact that my sleeve rolled up, which uh, I wish I noticed at the time, but you know, whatever, we'll get over it. Um, but what I noticed about it is that I just, I feel like I'm too far this way. I'm too far to the right hand side and I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, and it, you know, we can go into crop and see what we can do and I've already straightened it. So there's pretty much nothing we can do as far as like moving me over except for like really zooming it in and like, I just don't want to do that. I don't think that would look good. I mean, it might look good in your opinion. You can share it if you want, I don't care. Um, but I don't like it and I want to keep it farther away just like that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Photoshop. So we're gonna do or edit in Adobe Photoshop and then this is gonna open up in a second because my computer's old it takes a little bit of time but you know we will get there i'm recording on my watch <laughs> which is kind of fun for some reason i don't know if you can help me with this photoshop keeps opening my photos upside down and i mean it's a look for some people but just not for me so if it does this for you too i'm not sure if it's like an update issue just go right up here into image and then image rotation and just click 180 just so it'll come back to be normal um, but it's actually super simple. So now essentially what we're going to do is we're just going to create some extra data on the right hand side of our photo. So we're going to go in and we're going to press M for the marquee tool and then make sure you don't select any of like you or the subject or whatever is in the photo. So like go right here and then just go straight up. And then we're going to click and drag and create a marquee that gets pretty close to the subject, but it doesn't touch it so just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this onto a different layer and then we're going to press Control or Command J to do that. And then that puts it into a new layer over here. And then we can transform this layer to make it a little bit bigger. So we'll do Command T for transform. Make sure that you have layer one selected or the, the marquee that you just made. And then you're just gonna pull it out and just kind of give yourself a little bit more space. And I mean, you might notice it, you might not. I personally don't think anybody's looking that closely at it to be completely honest. So we will press enter and it doesn't look like it did anything yet except for stretch the image. Um, that's just cause we have to crop it. So then we're gonna go into um, press C for the crop tool. We are going to click right here on this little handle which is going to open up the full width of the document. And then we're just gonna click and drag and we're going to put ourselves wherever we want, wherever we think it looks best. I just kind of want to be centered. I just felt like I was a little too far over. And since I'm facing this way it was just a lot of dead space and it just looked kind of weird um, so after you have it put where you want it just press enter to apply the crop and press save to bring it back in to lightroom and then your file should come back in here just give it a quick second because again the computer is slow and look at that so we have our original one right here we have our original one right here and then we have our modified one right there and i mean honestly if you look at them side by side like that like quickly you notice the difference but if you just came across this on instagram you would not even notice at least i wouldn't notice but i also have adhd so i don't notice a lot of things but i think we're pretty safe to say that you'd be fine so yeah that's just a quick little video about how you can kind of play with the pixels a little bit to make the picture look exactly how you want it instead of just being resigned to the fact that you have a bad crop so yeah, if you make a mistake when you're doing stuff in camera, just know that you can probably save it in Photoshop as long as your settings are pretty much correct. So see you next time for a fun little video. Hope you liked this one. I'm still getting used to being on video.